Um, I didn't watch it. All right. That's what I was afraid of. So, Call of Cthulhu, the Fog Village. What's today's date? Let's say that. April 23rd, NerdCon. Woo! Everybody having fun so far today? Great. All right, so, I'm going to give you a real quick background on the war up to this date, which will be April. A bunch of just sheets that are scattered around. They've got some plans to beat 25 bomber. They've got some very hard to show you what Japanese control in 1942. It's all just kind of background stuff to give you kind of a feel. You don't feel like you need to know what's on the sheet or anything. It's just to kind of say, oh my god, look how much territory the Japanese can go. So the war just started on September 1st, 1939. Japanese war in Europe. Within two days, Great Britain and France declared war on Germany on September 17th, starting the Soviet Union, German ally, and Poland from the east. The Soviet Union would go on to invade Finland in November, and the German invade Denmark and Norway the following April. But in this one, you can play with Hello Germany continued to overrun other European states in 1940, including Luxembourg, Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany. Well, no, we're 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 like I said, we're doing the real, I got to start. British controlled Egypt in September and Greece in October. In June 1949, the Soviet Union allies invaded the Soviet Union. December 6th, the Soviet counter drives them from Moscow. On December 7th, 1941, America entered the war with the Empire of Japan bombed Pearl Harbor. An ally of Nazi Germany, this event the Axis soon declared war in the U.S. You guys are all part of the 17th Bomb Group. Um, which were flying the anti submarine that patrols from Pendleton, Oregon. Um, it was moved across the country by the Carolina Army Air Base in Columbia, South Carolina, ostensibly to fly similar patrols to this coast. Um, we were officially transferred effective 9 February to Columbia. Uh, combat crews were offered the opportunity to volunteer for, quote, an extremely hazardous but unspecified mission. Everybody volunteered. Um, on 17 February, the group was attached to the Air Force. Uh, there were 24 crews. You got 24 B 25 B bombers. And, um, they picked up their, their bombers in Minneapolis, where they had been modified. Um, some of the modifications included uh, the removal of the lower gun turret. There used to be a gun turret on the bottom side. Uh, installation of de-icers, steel glass plates mounted on the fuselage, uh, the removal of the leads on the radio set because it was heavy, so you guys don't have any radio. And installation of 160 gallon of collapsed steel frame auxiliary fuel tank, mock gun barrels. Your guns in the tail are not real. They are two broomsticks that are painted black. Um, and replacing of the nor your going box site with a makeshift engine site. You're still, at this point in the mission, you're not know what is actually going to happen. You were suspecting that it was something to do with the Japanese. Um, you guys started uh, in, at Eglin Field, Florida, on the first of March 1st. You started getting intensive training. Carrier jet taking, slow up on that fly, logs are bombing. You got some, a little bit of, basically told how to share a shoot as a plane. You have no training in parachute. Uh, extensive testing. Uh, on April 1st, you guys. Your, uh, your, your men, uh, no, on April 1st, wait, 25 March, you took off and you went to California. Uh, from there, on April 1st, 16 of the bombers were, were picked out of the 24, and they were put on the USS Hornet. Uh, however, it was also decided that the eight additional bombers, all of these had some kind of trouble. And initially, Jimmy, Jimmy Doolittle said, we're just going to take the ones that are ready. It was, it was very late decided that these additional eight would still go. There's the main route. route and then they would still take part of this special one. You guys were placed on the USS Brandywine, which uh, there should be a sketch of it around your center. There it is. It's a, an old Lexington-class aircraft carrier designated CB-0 for some reason. Um, we met up with a, an F, um, Hornet Brandywine Task Force 18 to leave the port on 2 April. Uh, we will hook up with the USS Enterprise and our escorts. Uh, on the 17th of April, we slow oilers refueling the you, and then they withdraw with the destroyer task force. Um, and at this point is when Doolittle tells you what your mission is going to be. Uh, you are to get revenge on the Empire of the Pain. Uh, we'll be bombing the cave, we'll be lifting off from the carrier, and we'll be dropping bombs on strategic targets in Japan, then fly on and continue on into China where you land, uh, refuel, and then continue on home with the Chinese. Chinese air strikes. Should be a uh, night mission, surprise in the area. They're blacking out the ships at night. Uh, during the day, you guys are doing gunnery practice and that kind of thing. Uh, as a group, you guys get to decide what you want to target, what, what city you want to hit. Um, 
You, yours is the final decision as an officer, but the whole crew should have an input on this. The five choices are Tokyo, Yokohama, Osaka, Kobe, or Nagoya. You pick one city that you want to go certain, certain things inside the city will be chosen. Just kind of like, here's what we're going to do. Here's a map of right there. That, that's a map of like, all the Japanese holdings on this So you're going to have four bombs. You're going to have three 500 pound bombs that are uh, extra strength, basically uh, explosives in them. And then you will have one incendiary. Um, you're flying low, table, uh, not table top. You're flying low, treetop low. Once you get to your target zone, you'll go up to 1,500 feet. The control will be turned over to the bombardier at that point. You'll, you'll have control of altitude only. The control will go over to the bombardier. You will drop the bombs as quickly as possible. And then you drop back down to treetop level. And then you continue on continue due south along the, Jap then along the Japanese coast, across the Sea of China, and then find your landing fields using boom. So what's the call? What, what city do you guys want to bomb? We should go after Nagoya. Nagoya? We could. I was going to say the same thing. If we can't get the Nagoya, we'll do Kobe. For some reason, we can't get the Nagoya. Yes, you can pick like a secondary target like that. Definitely. Okay. Your modified, your B-17 should have a, let's see, where's the range? Do you know if the story Japan historically has two coastal ports. The northern and southern. The southern one in Tokyo. I thought Tokyo was one of the ports. It's not one of the desert you're talking about. What you guys are beginning is like military installation, factory, that kind of thing. Oh, the uh, Imperial Palace is off limits. Do not touch the Imperial Palace. That's a direct from Colonel Duke. Uh, from yeah, from, from Duke. No, no bombs. In the, this is to be a military attack. As few civilian casualties as possible. I mean, they're gonna happen, but we're not gonna like aim for schools and temples. If you still have your load, or if there's some well, if something happens, happens we can't get that's there. That's great. That's perfect. So the Goyas are your first target. Is that is that Yeah. Great. Unanimous. All right. All right. So you guys are set to take off tonight on the evening of uh, April 18th. Um, you, by the time you get to Japan, it'll be like midnight, one in the morning is the plan. In the darkness, you do little things that they're not even used to. Uh, we're going to catch for the fans to um, Okay, you're bumped with the sea. The weather's pretty bad most of the trip, but it starts clearing up towards the 18th. Um, at 7.38 a.m. on April 18th, before mess, it's after uh, the morning battle station stroll, where's your character? Where do you want to be? You can be anywhere you want. You can be heading to the mess hall. You can be up on deck, just messing around, getting some air, smoking a cigarette. You could be back in your bunk because you're lazy. Where do you want to be? What do you want to be, Brett? I want to be on the plane checking out the bombing. Okay, so you've been, you've been checking out the bombing, but you're up on top. Where do you want to be? I'll say I'm on the next one. You're on deck. Make sure my... Yeah. Yeah. Jerry Rick bombing scope is accurate. Anybody eat smokes or wants their character to smoke? Feel free to use these as props. These are just cheapy candy cigarettes. Okay, anyway, so where do you want to be? I'll be in the mess hall. Okay, so you want to head straight to the mess hall. You're the co-pilot. And you're the flight engineer. I'm going to try to keep track of who is who. Uh, who's the pilot? There are no women. This is on, you're on a, 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 you're on a,
Do you guys know that? Uh, you're going to get a die. Yeah, you're going to get a die. Where's that piece of paper go? There it is. Did you get one of these red dice? I did not. Okay, grab one. Uh, I'll sign your Give these away. Uh, you're up on deck. When uh, Battle Stations is called, there uh, you see you see roar of guns coming from a low cruiser, one of the big cruisers to the port of Hornet. Uh, which is a little ahead of and to the port of Brandywine. Um, and then they start flying and firing away. Uh, there's a low slung ship pretty far off that starts like billowing smoke. You see a couple dive bombers overhead. Those are ours. Those are some of the planes that were sent off for Enterprise. Army pilots, man your planes! Army pilots, man your planes! You guys have not had a chance to get breakfast yet. You better get your pants on. What are you guys doing? I'm already in the plane. You're in the plane. You're like, the hell? <laughs> yep, off the bow. Okay, you guys, you're heading for the plane? Uh, I grabbed like a little orange and I run there. There's no food out there right now. No. Nothing's, they're just, you can smell. Oh my god, you're so hungry. But there's no food that's available. I run to the plane and they Okay, you're looking for food, but they need to get some food. Okay. okay, you guys head for the plane, grabbing your extra gear. You guys, if you have extra guns and stuff, you could have grabbed those. You could run to your quarters and grab them if you want. Actually, I need to run back to my Winchester. You've got a large one. You've got your little gun. One of the person I think had another pistol. You have a pistol. I have a 45, but I probably had it. It's in your pistol. Yeah, you can have one. Um, I mean, all my stuff. You have, a, you have your regular standard equipment. Yeah, you have a 45 automatic. You can grab that. Um, you guys get your standard equipment and you rush to the plane. Um, the flight deck's a hive of activity. Um, the voice over the loudspeakers are barking out commands. Signal lamps are being flashed from nearby Hornet, to, uh, and they're being replied to by Brandywine. Um, you guys know basic Morse code, and you can pick up that it's saying, cited by Japanese patrol boats, bombers to lift and uh, It is not even 8 o'clock in the morning. You guys are about 10 hours before you, 10 to 12 hours before you're scheduled to actually work. Um, they then start taking care of the bombers. They start uh, heading out with, uh, with small trapped carts with the bombs on them to start getting them into the bombers for themselves. The blocks are whipped out from under the wheels. Um, within a half an hour, the B-25s are open crisscross on the deck like this. With the first one being set to go straight out. Um, the takeoff instructor comes by your plane. Uh, he wishes it to be up. Uh, not after that, uh, not long after that, the Navy man shows up. He's got several extra, like, five gallon cans of gasoline, of aviation fuel. He puts them in there for you guys. You've already got several extra cans, and your planes are all getting pumped up. They're filling up, they're filling up all the tanks. Once they fill them up, they start shaking the plane back and forth to get the air bubbles out. Um, yeah, um, at 8.20, you see on Hornet, uh, flashing lights and that kind of thing, and you see one of the aircraft takes off. And it seems to move very, very slowly up the flight deck. Both the ships have turned into the wind. It's gale force wind. It's just blowing like crazy. Uh, the ship is just pitching up and down. And it seems like they've, they've timed the pitch of the ship so that the ship pitches upward when that first aircraft takes off. You know, that's Jimmy Doolittle. If this thing doesn't make it, the whole mission is going to explode. And he goes up, it seems like, very slowly. And then he spins, he comes up, and he goes around. He takes his bearing off of the planet and he heads towards Japan. Uh, you guys watch as, they, as each one of the first 18 craft take off from, from uh, Hornet. Uh, Brandon White's craft are not going to go until they're gone. Um, at 9.19 a.m., the first of the, the first, you guys are number two, two plane on the, on the Brandon White. At 9.19, uh, the first one takes off. Um, come in by Lieutenant Ralph Connor, the guy, and you guys all know each other. And uh, he has a little difficulty when he takes off, he goes up, he slams into the deck once the plane gets out of the air. And he goes up over the carrier and he hits on the same bearing that, that your carrier is on, which will take you directly to Tokyo. Because your flight plane is going to be to get to Tokyo and then get your way over to Nagoya and that's when you have your box. You're going to use a lot of ground for Mr. Navigator here to make sure that he knows where we're going. All right, now it's your turn, Captain. The, uh, the Navy man on the bow, he stands on the bow of the ship, he's got a checkered flag, he gives a signal to start wishing your engine, and he starts swinging faster, 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 and he seems to wait and time it. And the dipping of the ship is rising up before he can go. And 
and finally he gives a new signal. You hear a clunk as the Navy men pull the the, uh, the chocks out from from your tires. You uh, basically put your throttle. It's been all the way up. You put your throttle forward. You got your flaps all the way down. Let's see if you can get off this plane. Make me a pilot aircraft. That number or less. Oh no. Out of what? Out of 75. That is an impact. You make less than 20% of what you need, which is good. So you basically, it is effortless. It's like, you're, we're, we're gone. You, you go up, you circle around, and you can use, the carriers aim the direction you guys are supposed to do, to go. So all you have to do is follow that. Um, here's the only problem. The fleet is uh, supposed to be 350 nautical miles from Japan. It is 650 nautical miles from Japan. The, uh, you are 10 hours ahead of schedule, which means you'll be hitting your targets during the day, which is not what is supposed to happen. So keep this in mind. Um, yeah. they, they spotted that little. They spotted a little ship. They blew it up. They assumed that a message had been sent. They're like, go, go, go. And as soon as all these planes are off, you guys know the fleet's gone. You have to make it back to China. Um, as soon as you guys are around, you can start topping your tanks off in the back. You got your flight engineer. You can be topping off the tanks. Pilot and co-pilot are up in the front. Bombardier's already down in the bomb bay, or down in his uh, little, down the little cupola on the very front. You have a 30 caliber machine gun. You, you, are in charge of these 2050s on the top, so. You're going to be watching the skies when you guys get near Japan and make sure you don't get shot down by zeros or something else. Um, you guys are going to be flying low and slow to start with to conserve fuel. Take off your top, take your top, damn it. Wave top as close as you can get, low as you can get. You don't see any of the other bombers. So there's enough area in between you guys, you really don't see the others. Um, you're about 20 feet above the waves. The weather is disgustingly clear, clear blue sky. It's a beautiful day. Um, about, let's see, about five, mi five hours from launch, you spot the coast of Japan. The island nation lies very low in the water with a slight haze that makes the, it blend eerily into the horizon. There are several small boats anchored off the beach, including fishing boats and motor launches. As you fly over, there are surprisingly no shots fired from below. Uh, and you see men and women actually waving as you fly over. Um, the white beaches turn into soft rolling green fields. Everything looks well kept with little farms fitting in almost mathematical precision. It's very green. Um, farmers in the fields wave at you guys as you fly over, uh, which is a little crazy. You, it might be because you have a big red circle in the middle of your star. They might be mistaken for Japanese aircraft. Probably, actually. Um, you follow low, you, you stay in the valleys. Mr. Navigator, you can make me a navigation check. Because you're, what you're having to do is go through valleys and top hills and find low valleys, because you want to stay out of sight. 74 to 70, okay. You're having some difficulty hunting where we are. We're not, we're not exactly sure where you are, but you, you, you can keep your course and hope for the best. Um, it's about, an, it's about an hour after that that you uh, that you come over a hill. There's a red church or something, a red like temple on top of it, and you spot a giant bay in front of you. You're far off to your right, you see a massive city. You realize it's dead. So you can make another navigation check to see where you're going to go from here. 86. 86. Uh, that way. <laughs> You're guessing a little bit. Uh, you spot the aircraft into the stomach. Yeah, you guys haven't had any food. Um, <laughs> you do have cigarettes. So, uh, no, no smoking right yet. Not until the mission's over. Probably bombs on board. Um, you do spot a lot of smoke coming up right now. There are plumes of smoke. Uh, you spot a large aircraft carrier in the bay. And then you head on to Nagoya. Uh, you eventually spot the city. You are off course. Uh, you need to modify your course a little bit to get there. No, you don't know. They see it. It's your fault. And um, you're getting close to your target area. So, you don't have to make this roll. Our bombardier has to make this roll. Yeah. You guys are there. Nothing has happened out of the end zone. Wow. Maybe this will be a simple game. Nothing will happen. Just get on set. Hi. Hi. Hey. So you set your target. 
Uh, you can alert the pilot by inertia. Uh, then the pilot turns, you turn control over there. Switch the input. It turns control of the aircraft over here. You still have altitude control. This is taking up to 1,500 foot. It's going to be aerial gunnery. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so. You go up to 1,500 feet, the flap starts to burst around you. It's not very much. Here's his first bomb. 50 out of 64. That's a 5. No, this is 0, 5. No, this is 50. Oh, yeah. Cheater. Anyway, um, your first bomb's away. Uh, more flak is bursting. Don't make a roll for your second bomb. But you're going to be dropping the bombs before they hit. So. 65. 65. That's a success. That's a success. So you're the second target. All right, now, uh, I need Captain Ello to make a little check. I'm going to roll the other side of the character sheet. I'm going to roll that out of the Black is, there's not as much black as you thought there would be. Did you make it? You did not make it. Okay, black bursts near the plane. Uh, who wants to roll me a D12 to see where it strikes? Dun dun dun. It's like, I don't want this response to Number five. There is a blast forward. Flak penetrates the cockpit. Ooh. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to teach you guys to make a You guys are the You guys are the There's a flash of explosive like right in front of you, and there's flat. There's holes are right perfectly right. Each of you make a lot of How many of you are going to make a that's what you got. This one and this one. It's your turn. That's your one. Okay, what'd you get? A 90. Okay. And 03. Okay, you made yours. You're fine. You actually get hit by some flak, like debris. Um, ah, Jesus. Seven points of damage. So you're at 10, you're at 3 points, so just circle that with a pen or a pencil or whatever. Uh, I also need you to multiply your constitution times 5, and, uh, well this is interesting, the other play you really get it uh, and um, rule that or less on your cinematics. If you don't, then your pistol's going to pass out. And you still have this guy, rule 03 on his life check, who's like, look out! Okay, so you're still conscious, but you're in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, you guys don't have any kind of black vests or anything on. Um, you're not even wearing a black vest. Uh, no. no, they didn't wear any of that kind of stuff. There's no protection. So you're hurting very bad. You're bleeding a little. You're not going to lose points or anything like that. But it's dramatic. There's a lot of blood. Um, you probably are going to want eventually to get someone to. Uh, so if you want, someone to try to perform first aid on you. Unfortunately, it's right in the middle of the bottom line, so it might have to wait. Um, no, 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 you can wait. You can wait to have first aid before you the bomb. Okay, Brad, drop bomb number three, please. I have first aid, so I can I pick them up after the bomb. No. And you three are in the same area of the ship, and you guys are in the same area of the ship. But I don't know they've been hit, divided right? by the no, no, they did radio in. You, you, you heard crashing, and something hit the ship, but you don't know anything besides that. 17, that's the third hit. You hit with your third bomb. All three targets struck. Well done. And roll me through your incendiaries, because you're getting over incendiaries. You're getting over the uh, part of town that'll burn real nice now. 22. Okay. Bombs away. Every time a bomb drops, every time a bomb drops, it feels like the plane like j jumps ahead. Uh, and when, as soon as you get that last light flashing for the last bomb, what do you want to do? Uh, sorry, you can, you can flip the switch and take the call. Flip the switch Okay. You to take it. You can fly back down to two. Take the treetop level and continue on your way. You head due south and then you're supposed to follow the coast of Japan. Down to some landmarks and then head across to China. I'm going to radio up to the front. Is everyone all right? I like, heard some noises and felt something in the plane. Oh, well, I can come up, Captain. I got some bandages. I got some bandages up. Yeah, everybody has a little med kit that there's two on themselves. So, yeah, you want to head up there? Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. help them. You climb up. Um, you're not seeing any signs of, you're, you're in the twins, you're looking around for zero. You're not seeing any planes in the air at all. It's really kind of strange. Uh, you can make a first aid check on him. And if you succeed, you can give him 1d3 points or uh, points back. Yeah. 
accept it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No help there. The bandage is broke, man. Someone else can try to bandage him up. You're the only one who's got access. If you want to try to help him out, you can. Okay, make a roll on first name. All right. One point back. You get a point back. Is I totally forgot. Let's introduce our characters. Um, I should have done this first, but I was just like, yay, players! What's your name and what is your character's name? And who is he? Tell us what you want us to know about. That's correct. It's for it's actually the one of the 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 Disappears in the I was doing my residency during uh, the bombs on Pearl Harbor from Louisiana. I was doing my residency in New Orleans. Yeah, I enlisted into the army. I didn't tell them that I was going to run into that bomb. How about our All right, I'm the bad guy. I guess I'm bad at You don't do all the next stuff. Okay. How about our flight engineer? Keep your bird flying. Um, okay, so um, you guys fly. If you don't want to do anything else, uh, there's a cruiser. You spot three cruisers once you hit uh, the ocean, and you're following the coast. You're firing, but nothing happens. You're way too far away. You're too small. Um, you finally reach the islands of Honshu and Yakushima, which is your landmark to turn west on the 20th parallel. And get the hell out of China. My problem is. Your fuel reserves are really getting down fast. You're supposed to have enough fuel if you left than you're supposed to to get to China safely. But you're running into a problem in the fact that your fuel, your fuel is getting set up on the Around 6 p.m., the weather starts to go bad. There's a few drops on the windshield, which are coming through into your face and you become a little bit And it quickly escalates into a very storm. Um, you guys can all make me an idea check. Yeah. Idea should be on the upper right of the character sheet. Oh, 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 oh. I've got some extra dice here, too. Okay, that's not going to help. Alright, so here's the idea. You know, ideas upper right, you want to roll that number or less than your percentage. Okay, you guys, people on the boat had, had told you, people on the ship, I told you that sometimes the weather, these storms will just come off the shore of China. So, 
the good thing about it is it's going to make it hard for them to find it. The bad thing about it is it's going to make it hard for you guys to like see landmarks and figure out how the hell you And the radio navigation is not going to work. It's going to be so, um, so, yeah, what, what do you want to do? You want to continue at a lower altitude or you want to try to get above the storm? That's the captain and pilot, co pilot, he's the main one to me. One hand, all right, roll okay. over that. Yeah, you can talk about it. Yeah, I guess I'll take this one. So that would make it. You head up. You head up. You manage to get over the main rain and that kind of stuff. Uh, there is still clouds above you, so navigation is still very, very hard. Oh, okay. It, uh, you are getting above the main with the rain. But uh, as the fuel gauge continues to go down, uh, you can make me another navigation check. What do you want to tell them? Okay. Good job. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay, here's the problem. Fuel is getting very low. You're going to have to make a decision whether to try to go down and try to find a place to land or ditch the plane. Or you're going to have to bail. I hear she is. Or you can just go down with it and crash and die. I guess there are three choices. So. I'm not sure. Alright, so I have to make a trade Discuss it amongst yourselves. You still have enough gas to talk about this. Let's see if we sound like we're going to go down and find another land. Yeah.